All right, so today is surgery day. It's literally eight o'clock in the morning. I'm about to head up to the hospital in Sydney and get this surgery on my collarbone. I wanted to do a bit of an explanation before I get the surgery, but I didn't have time. So we're gonna have to do the explanation after. But long story short, I basically have thoracic outlet syndrome throughout my entire right arm caused by my broken collarbone, which is short and just jaggedy and blocking arteries and stuff, which makes my arm swell up when I work out and go to the gym and do flips like stuff like that. So for the past like six months, I haven't been able to go to the gym. I haven't been able to ride bikes as hard. I haven't been able to do flips. So when this is fixed, gonna be able to get back into that stuff better than ever. So I'm just gonna kind of document the journey of my collarbone surgery, fixing my thoracic outlet syndrome. Hopefully we'll get into more details about the whole story beforehand and how we got here after I get the surgery. But yeah, it's surgery day. Let's head up to Sydney. Hopefully all goes well. Oh wait, one more thing before we go. Last few flips before I can't for a while. Oh, it's slippery out this morning. All right, I think that'll do it for the flip sesh. Let's head up to the hospital. All right, we've made it to the city and I forgot to mention we're staying two nights in the hospital as well. Trying to figure out where to go. All right, we're in the gown. We're about to go through pre-op and then get operated on. So I'll see you on the other side. <clears throat> All right, we've made it to the other side. Apparently everything went well. I just love how fast it goes. You, they put the uh, anesthetic in you and about five seconds later, you're laying here, woken up. <clears throat> Collarbone feels completely numb. Hip hurts a little bit because they took a bone graft out. But other than that, everything went really well. I'm staying here two nights and we'll be getting home. But yeah, I think, I think we're good. So yeah, it's covered by a bandage, but I think it's already looking better. It's all pulled back, not rolling over like it used to. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. Feeling good. Hoping maybe I could even leave today instead of staying another night, but we'll see. Check it out. That's the collarbone surgery. Yeah, I think we'll do a quick little test flip, see how. <laughs> I usually do that stuff where I flip and I'm not even fully healed yet. Did that with my moon boot, did that with my broken collarbone. So this time I think I'm just gonna fully heal. Mum's got her mouth wide open. <laughs> but I think on this time I'm just gonna fully heal and then get back into everything properly. <laughs> We have made it home. Luckily, I only had to stay one night in the hospital. We've made it home. I still have my little handbag here that's connected to my hip. About to go to the doctors and they're gonna take that out for me. So for the next six or so weeks, this is gonna be my little spot. Don't worry, I'll still be making lots of videos and lots of content. I'm gonna get a thousand times better at editing as well. Just gonna chill here, heal up fully, properly, and the videos are coming back better than ever. This is gonna be difficult. Not bad. All right, so how did we get here? How did I find out about my problem and what did I do to solve it? So just over a year ago, I committed to the gym, going every day and for the first time ever, seeing actual progress. And people that go to the gym will also know what comes with fast growth. But I had actual body dysformia, a deformed bone internally inside of my body. But we'll get into that in just a second. Basically, I started to notice my right pec being much harder to build and smaller than my left, even though I was right side dominant. After a while looking in the mirror and filming myself a lot, I thought it could be because of my collarbone that I've broken three times over my life. First time preschool, second flipping. That hurt? Yeah. And third on a mountain bike. And I went off one of those jumps. And I had like... Hit, which made you go forwards and over the handlebars. I went over the handlebars and didn't film it. And basically, I'm pretty sure I broke my collarbone again for the like third, fourth time maybe. I noticed that the right side is much shorter in length than the left side. That is most likely due to, well, breaking it three times and never getting surgery because the hospital told me I didn't need it and I'd be fine. And because the bone is shorter, it was kind of rolling my shoulder forward and I wasn't able to get proper form 
in the gym, I was always having to try and bring my shoulder back to try and get proper form and proper stretch into the muscle, but uh, I never quite was able to get it and I knew there was a problem there. A bit of time passed and I tried getting over it until one day at the beach, my arm got really stiff and changed color. So yeah, it was just another day doing flips at the beach as I usually would. But as you can see, my right arm is swelling up compared to the left. Look at the size difference. I look like the winter soldier or some shit. But yeah, here I'm finally noticing something's up. My arm feels tight. I can see it's swelling up. Look at my face. I'm not enjoying that. I'm trying to do little, little stretches, checking them out compared to each other. I'm like, whoa, what is going on? Something's definitely up. My right arm's like, yeah. So naturally, I went to the doctors and they basically said, wait two weeks, wait for the swelling to go down and don't go to the gym. So that's what I did. And obviously the swelling did not go down. I then went to a vascular specialist and after many MRIs and ultrasounds, they diagnosed me with thoracic outlet syndrome. Thoracic outlet syndrome is basically where the arteries and veins or whatever going under the clavicle area and above the first rib area are kind of compressed in a tight space and make your arms swell up. And I thought, well, that's obviously caused by my collarbone and my body and muscles getting bigger from the gym and making the space even tighter. That's why it hasn't appeared until three years after my latest break. They proceeded to say that's most likely not the case and told me the best plan of action is to take out my first rib. And there is no way that is happening. That would just destroy me even further and make the things that I do like motocross and flips even more difficult and it wouldn't fix the problem at the gym. I then went to an orthopedic surgeon, got an x-ray and he basically said the same thing on the x-ray my collarbone looks fine and it's too risky to operate on with such a low success rate of fixing the thoracic outlet syndrome because the most common fix is taking the first rib out and that's just what they wanted to stick to to prove to them my collarbone is utterly destroyed inside of my body i went and got a ct scan and that definitely showed the state of my collarbone. Just look at that thing, especially compared to the left side. The CT scan shows both collarbones and you can just tell how destroyed and mangled and much shorter the right side collarbone is inside of my body compared to the left, which I thought was 100% why I was getting these problems. Months later, I was referred to the top of the top orthopedic surgeon and thank God he was saying basically exactly what I was saying. Restore the anatomy on my right side so it matches the left and all my symptoms should in theory, go away. My hopes were so high, I finally might be able to get it fixed. We discussed the surgery and the risks and everything over the next couple of weeks, booked in a date and went in for the surgery. Uh, whoa, what are you boys doing? These are some big birds. Hello. Hey. Oh no, don't, don't leave. Check these guys out. Hey, how's it doing? You know, I really wish I had wings. Yeah, I'm pretty jealous of your wings. I wish I could fly. Hello. Everyone's coming to hang out today. Hello. What's your name? What are you guys up to? Don't hurt me, please. I'm scared. You're scaring me. And now we're here. Only two and a half my. What are these guys doing? Two and a half weeks left until I get the sling off. About a week and a half ago, I went to the post appointment with the surgeon and he had a look at it. Oh my gosh. He took the bandage off and all the stereo strips and the stitches, he took all of that out. The scar honestly looks really good. I have this oil that I rub into the scar and hopefully the more I do that, the more the scar will go away with time. So, but yeah, the scar to me looks really clean. I'm not too bothered about it, even if it stayed like how it is now, but I know it's gonna get better and go away. I also have to rub the oil into my hip scar as well to get that going away, but everything's looking good so far. I'll put up a little before and after right now with my shirt off. I did this little clip before I went into the surgery surgery when I was putting on my hospital gown and stuff. You can see the difference crazy. My shoulder is rolling over insane, but you can definitely tell the difference with this collarbone surgery, how it straightened up my shoulders. Like there are so many things I'm so excited to do. I can wear bags properly now without having to do one side up more. Like form in the gym will be good. Yeah, so let me know if you can really see a difference or if I'm insane. But at the post appointment, he also had 3D models, 3D actual handheld 3D models of my collarbone. Collarbone before the surgery, the surgery kind of cut in half and then the collarbone put back together, which was really cool to see. It was cool to see the actual bone size and everything in person. It was to scale, which was awesome to see. They were really small. Like I, I wasn't expecting them to be so small, but these are the x-rays I got literally moments after the surgery. And the doctor was saying that this white bit just above the collarbone is where the extra space has been made for the arteries to go through, which should cure my thoracic outlet syndrome or at least reduce the symptoms. 
Check out my beautiful plate that I have in my collarbone. Beautiful straight plate with one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Yeah, that's the collarbone surgery. 2023 is coming to an end and pretty much as soon as 2023 ends, I take the sling off and I start getting back into stuff and uh, my friends are out there flying, making a racket. I know not many people are gonna watch this video, but if you've made it this far into the video, I know you're a real one. So if you have, please comment down below so I know who you guys are. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. If you guys did enjoy, show this with some respect. I'll see you guys in the next one.